Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 910. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. I just got a quick video here. I want to talk about AND and BETWEEN criteria and OR criteria. Now AND and BETWEEN. AND criteria just means you have more than one criteria. BETWEEN is a type of AND criteria, because we have two things that have to be true. If we're counting between these two dates, we need to say greater than, equal to this, less than, or equal to this. And we're going to use the sum ifs. Then we'll talk about a separate, different example with OR criteria. We need to look through this date column. And for every particular date in this column, which represents this uh, record here, we need to ask, is that date greater than or equal to 12-1-2009? And is it less than or equal to 4-30-2010? Right? As it goes through, here this is clearly not greater than that. This one is both greater than or equal to this and less than or equal to this. So this would get a true, which means it then takes that number and adds it. Goes through all the dates, whichever numbers it finds two trues for both and or between criteria, it will then add. We're going to use the sum ifs. Some ifs came in in 2007, is in 2010, does not exist in 2003 or earlier. Now the sum ifs screen tip is very polite. The first thing it says, hey, give me the sum range, all of these, comma. Then it says criteria range one, criteria one, right? So it's in a range, so that means the whole range. That's the dates, Cri comma, and then we get criteria one. Now actually, it does not matter in what order you do and criteria, but I'm going to say uh, the first thing is I need the comparative operator greater than or equal to for this one. So I'm in double quotes, greater than or equal to in double quotes. And I need to join that, so I use the join symbol ampersand, shift 7. So that little criteria says anything in here greater than or equal to that date right there. Comma, and then we have to repeat the date column again. Comma, get to notice the two. It's quite the screen tip is quite polite, and then criteria two. So this one will be less than or equal to in double quotes ampersand that. And here we go. It'll add 103. We could probably eye it here. Um, just eyeing it, going through. Oh, it's torture to do it by uh, hand without a function. Now, how am I highlighting these things not next to each other? I'm holding the Control key. Now, I've highlighted all of these. And look at down here in the status bar. It tells me, oh, there's the sum. So it looks like I got it right. Um, all right, now let's talk about a separate type of criteria, or criteria. Now, or just means one or the other. And or between. Both of these criteria had to be true for any one given record. So this was a true for that to be counted. But OR criteria, one or the other or both, have to be true for us to add. Now in this case, because we have a column with car names, we're never going to get a record with both Toyota and Honda being true. So in that case, we can do two count ifs. We can tell this uh, function to count how many Toyotas there are, which means it'll look through here and count, plus, and then we'll do a second count if and count how many Hondas there are. We can use this formula construction because there are, there's never a chance that both are true. In other OR criteria situations, you might uh, have a case where both are true, but not here. So we'll simply do count if. And count if, it's been around for a long time. Range, simply highlight this, boop, comma, and then our first criteria. All right, that's going to count. It's never going to count any Hondas or Fords, just Toyota. So we can simply add and get our second count if. Get the range right here, comma, and Honda. And enter. So now we get five. So Toyota, uh, doing one. Two, three, four, five. Right, I can count those. Now, if I change this to four, I get seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. No, 
uh, Honda, sorry, Honda in four. So Honda. So there we get seven. Let's try this up here. I'm going to change this to three, one. Right? And then I should get a totally two, di two totally different, uh, and you can check it over here. All right, we'll see you next trick.